Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. My power finally came back. It was down for like five days after the crazy storms in Texas. Anyway, though, I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with kind of what we're doing right now, taking a short break from Path of Exile. I um, wanted to go ahead and check out one of my old favorites, which is actually Grim Dawn. Uh, people from like way back in the day who watched my older content know I made a lot of YouTube content on Grim Dawn back in the day. I haven't really followed it because I kind of burned myself out. I put like 1,200, 1,300 hours in. So I just wanted to peek back and kind of see what's going on. But more importantly, back then I was not known as the RF guy. So we are discovering the RF archetype in Grim Dawn right now. So for people who don't know, Grim Dawn is a multi-class system game. So I'm currently playing as a Inquisitor and Oathkeeper. That makes the combo of Paladin that I'm currently playing. So it's kind of a sleeper build the level at the beginning. Uh, I pretty much leveled as Inquisitor. I would recommend you put points in this little storm box. Uh, and then this skill here kind of like makes a chain lightning sort of to the target, like a tether. This here is called your basically your Righteous Fire Aura, although it's kind of utility because it's stripping targets resistance, reducing their damage, and then also having some burn damage attached to it. And I've got a defensive buff here that we'll put points into for some movement speed and some damage. Now, over here under Oathkeeper, this is actually where the damage is coming from. You'll notice it builds a little scuff because I just dump points into the mastery. It's because we're figuring things out, you know, we're kind of going in somewhat blind. Um, the reason I went Oathkeeper is it has a lot of fire synergy, has a lot of dot synergy in general, and is very tanky. A build that's going to want to be melee oriented, we want to make sure we can survive. So at the moment, we pretty much have um, Righteous Fire and Scuffed Flame Dash. So an example of how that works. Uh, the aura is already active, you can't really see it, but if I go run next to mobs, you'll see it trigger. So this is the, in the Inquisitor aura you can see occurring here. And then our Flame Dash that we currently have, that would, I call it Scuff Flame Dash. More like Shield Charge, but it leaves a fire trail on the floor. This fire trail on the floor ticks so fast compared to the RF aura, which is kind of at the moment, which is what's making this the single target. Now, to, to amplify this a little further on our devotion tree, you guys remember how devotions work. Everything on here is passive, but if it has a little glow like this, it means it can be attached to your skills. So over here we have Imp, and Imp is leaving uh, Aether Fire on the floor that is constantly procking because it has a 50% chance to proc on the dot tick. And that has like an unlimited stack. So at the beginning game, you'll notice when I shield charge, there'll be like these little green pools underneath the targets. Let's see if we can find someone kind of tanky. See that little green pool right there? That is the imp that's procking, and it procs so quickly with this combo. So it's actually setting up very, very nice synergy here. Overall, pretty happy with the character. I'm very excited to see where we can go with it. I was a little disappointed at first to find out that the aura is not really going to do the main damage, but then again, it'd be kind of boring if you just slapped on one buff and it kind of like trivialized the game. So I'm very curious to see where we go with this character. So we'll be streaming it probably for the remainder of the week. We'll kind of, we'll see what's going on. There's, there's some other variety planned, but for YouTube, you'll primarily get this. Also in the future, I'm going to work on doing dual streams towards YouTube as well, kind of like a random announcement, but it's something I got to stop being lazy and do so that way I can just stream on Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys want to join on on the stream to come see some Grim Dawn adventures. If you do, down below there should be a link to my stream. You can always catch me live at twitch.tv slash pox. But anyway, I'm out for now. Catch you guys all later. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. One last shout out. The only thing I'm using right now for mods are just simply Rainbow. Rainbow just makes it so your text is color coded. Example, fire is like orange, lightning is blue, offensive ability, defensive ability are green. It just makes it easier to read since Grim Dawn has a lot of stat bloat in it. That's about it. Catch you guys all later. Thanks so much for watching.